What's up y'all, this is Insanity, and today I have another great massage gun review for you. Today we have the Uricar massage gun. It comes in this beautiful box. Here is the logo, and inside, it actually comes in this nice little case. I take it out, and we have this nice little travel case. Let's go ahead and open it up. Inside, we have a beautiful presentation. Uh, we got the massage gun itself. It has one, two, three, four, five, six heads. Comes with a charger and of course the user manual. So let's get right into the review. The Uricar AT1 massage gun comes fully equipped with six massage heads, eight different speed levels, visual intelligent control compass, and massage head recognition intelligence. It has a stroke length of 16 millimeters, a stall force of 65 pounds, a maximum speed of 3,800 RPM, and a peak power of 65 watts. Right now, we're gonna check all those out. It has some really cool features that sound really cool, but let's see if they are really cool. Um, but right off the bat, I have to say, this is probably the best looking massage gun I have reviewed yet. It is sturdy. It does, it's, it feels like it's built to last. It just looks cool. It looks like some kind of like, I don't know, Star Wars gun or something. I don't know. Let's go ahead and turn it on. It has a button right here. You hold the button down and it powers up. And in the back, this is what it looks like. It has this picture of your body and all these lights but we'll see what those actually do. So one thing that seemed kind of interesting is it says that it recognizes the head. So let's just see what it does. So I have this head, right? And I'm gonna put it here and let's see what happens. Oh, so that little light, I don't know if you can see, that little light lights up that this head is on. So I don't know what they do, but somehow it knows that this is that one. Let's see. Let's let's test it out. This one's very different looking, and I'm gonna stick this in. And you tell me, does it recognize it? Boom. And it did. But that is pretty cool. Let me do one more one more test. Got this. Um. Let's see. This kind of I don't know what this is. Some odd. This looks like a you know a corkscrew or something. Let's see if this works. Okay. So I'm gonna put this in here. Let's see if the corkscrew pops up and the corkscrew pops up. That is really, good job, Uricar. I like that it recognizes. So I'm assuming that based on the different heads that you use, it's gonna, you know, maybe work differently. So we'll, I guess we'll see. So let me put this standard one in. This actually feels really nice. This is like a very firm rubber. There's not much give to it. It's not like a, a tennis ball or a racquetball. It is uh, pretty hard. It's probably like plastic wrapped in rubber. So when you're using it, it's probably gonna, you know, push pretty hard. On this, it's a completely digital screen, so I can't really touch the buttons. But um, let's see, it has up and down. So that changes the level. And then this is, I'm guessing this is the start button. Whoa. And then you can lower it, of course down to a really slow speed, All right? But I like the fast speeds. And right off the bat, I know you can't see it, but a timer started. It says 31, let me actually stop it. So when I started, a, a timer actually started. So it's actually timing, you know, how long that we're doing this massage. So let's go ahead and do the first test, which is the calf test, right? The most painful part of the human body. Get this up. Okay, so I have my trusty calf, and I'm gonna go to eight, really hard head. And let's just do it. And this actually feels really strong. Like the motor in this, whatever it is, is strong. This massage gun is on the smaller side and it actually packs a nice little punch. Some of the smaller massage guns tend to have more of the like vibration effect. This one, it feels really strong. Like I could probably push really hard and it's gonna be okay. Um, the head actually feels good. The head, it feels very sturdy. And I know I use the calf as an example because the calf is painful, um, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I just want to see, you know, can my sensitive areas handle this? Something else I want to mention is this is actually relatively quiet. It's not like 
super loud. Like, I mean, maybe it sounds loud right now because of this, but um, compared to some of the other guns, this is actually relatively quiet. So if you work at a job and you're trying to massage yourself while, you know, doing work and there's cubicles next to you, you know, this might be a good option. This will not make too much noise. Let me just stop it really quick. So something I just noticed too is when you switch the massage head, so I have this head on right now, it has a picture of a body right here and the body lights up with all these areas, okay? This is one of the functions I think I saw but I have not noticed. And basically when you switch the head, so I'm gonna put this one in, it changes the areas. It basically tells you where this head can be used on your body, right? And so let me show you, say, this one, which is you know a little bit less conventional. Put it in, and it tells you exactly where to use it. So I really like that. This one's actually, it says it's for your arms. I didn't even know that. Like a lot of these massage guns, they, they have these heads for you, but you really don't know what to use it. So a lot of times, for me personally, I just end up using this one, right? Because I'm like, what do I use these for? So this actually, depending on which head you use, let me try this one it actually tells you where you're supposed to use it. I didn't, I didn't even know this one is for your legs, like your lower legs. It's kind of crazy, look at that. This is kind of a game changer for us consumer users, you know, non-professionals. This gives you a visual representation of where you're supposed to use this. Another feature of this device is that it has infrared technology, meaning that it speeds up when it's in contact with your body and slows down when it's not, like when it's just in the air, right? And I think the whole idea is to save battery life um, so it lasts longer. This has up to 10 hours battery life um, and this, again, could potentially make it last longer. So let's give it a try. And when you put the head in, it actually automatically changes the level, right? So when I put in, say, this one, it has level four. When I put in this one, level three. This device is very intelligent in that it automatically adjusts depending on which head you use, which is actually a really good idea because you know some of these say like this one, if you're going super hard, you could probably hurt yourself. So I like that it has such an intelligent design. Um, let's go ahead and try this one. And again, it's, it goes straight to three, so it's not like crazy pressure. Um, it says I could use it on my upper body. I'm gonna go ahead and start it. As you can see, it's going pretty slow. And I'm just gonna go straight to my neck and boom, it is going a lot faster now. <laughs> and what I was told is depending on the area that you're at, it'll speed up or slow down. So I think I'm guessing it's just based on the sensitivity. So right now here it's going really fast. I'm gonna go up my neck, it kind of slows down, right? Or maybe my, let's see, my elbow. See, it kind of slows down. It's probably like your elbow's too sensitive. Let's try this again. So depending on where you're at, it just will speed up or slow down. And when you go back to here, it slows down. Another thing I just noticed is that this light actually changes depending on, you know, whether it's in standby mode or actually massaging. So when it's in auto, if I start it, right? Notice it's going slow, this light is dim versus when I put it on my neck and it takes off, it actually lights up, right? So depending on you know how you're using it, the light changes. Another thing I do like is actually the grip, right? Like I mentioned, it's very sturdy. This grip having three different options is very useful, right? Being able to grab here and reach farther down my back, that's a game changer, right? When you just have this grip, you're a little bit limited on how far you can reach. So especially if you're using this on yourself, this is very useful. Now, last but not least is the price. How much does this thing cost? This massage gun costs $269.99, so it is a little bit more expensive, but to be honest, this is a really good quality massage gun with a lot of features, a lot of different heads, a lot of functions, and it's sturdy, so it's not gonna break when you drop it on the floor. Anyways, if you wanna pick yourself up one of these massage guns, make sure you click the link below, check it out, and get one for yourself. As always, if you can, please do me a huge favor by pressing the like button to help push this video to new audiences and help get the word out. All right, hope you're doing well, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.